Hello and welcome to what I call a continuating video, and today we're going to be playing the German Empire, and I don't know what to do, honestly. Uh, after forming the German Empire and conquering basically the entirety of Africa, I, there's nothing much to do. I guess we can improve standard of living. It's not like we have a bad standard of living, but like it can be better. Los Altos! Well, would you look at them go? They have quite a nice standard of living because half the country decided to not live there anymore. And over there, they don't have that. Oh, we can just steal a guy. Yeah, it's this guy. We just stole this guy. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I don't like this guy. French Republic. Fr French Republic. Well, you see, I would love to give German Niger all of my territory over here. However, I am unable to do so because they currently find themselves in a never-ending war. Why are they in a never-ending war? Because, well, air is impossible to conquer. And they don't have the same luxury as me, for I can simply, uh, you know, end the war. However, they don't want to end the war because, well, they're not, they're not, they don't think they're going to lose. So this is going to take a while. Oh, it appears that the Netherlands have secret police. Hold on. Yeah, they, they do. They also have state atheism. What? The That's an interesting name you got there, William. What the fuck is that? Name? Oh God, it's Leopold II. All of this shit doesn't have market access because Nigeria always. Always silent revolt. Now this time you really <laughs> the good ruler. Uh, but wait, hold on. What's his age? Ah, 18, 1889. That's my favorite age. I don't even know where my army is. Like I got them there. They're stationed. I told you to go here. Are oh, you not going there? I says great. Why can't I? Because it's gonna apparently take years. What? Why can't you move? You can't move. And you move there? You can't. Okay. So that army is useless. That's. Great. Okay, even though there is a very clear way out of here, they cannot leave. Also, question, who are you? Why do, do I have an army down here? Like, you're Brandenburgian troop. Get out of here. Get... Uh, what? Wait, you're doing... You're doing what maneuver? You're landing in Portugal, are you now? Okay, sure. But the other guys couldn't leave. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't have enough generals in this army. Can you kill them? Though? Do I have enough generals in that army? Yes, I do. I should really look at the names before I hire people. Like, I, I just... I just completely ignored the fact that Paul von Hindenburg is is now in my army. These guys haven't even fucking arrived at the front. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be at war with them without having arrived at the goddamn front. What? Why is everyone siding with Egypt? Because the Omani Peasant Revolt, yeah. I had to check if I lost interest in Southern Africa because they did an uprising, but no, I do have German South Africa. That, that flag is horrendous. What if I do this? Absolutely everyone despises. What if I throw a 17? Three times in a row. How about that? Another one. Oh yeah, we could, we did we did just continue colonizing that, huh? Okay, now we can go back and colonize the rest. We already are. That's nice. Yo, yeah, I gotta spread the German faith. We are so religious, guys. We are so religious. <laughs> we are really just lying. <laughs> oh yeah, we're doing this for our religion, guys. Uh, yeah, that's totally us. Okay, we quite we quite literally like built a bunch of trenches over here in the African territory. And meanwhile, we don't even have an enemy. Okay, people really want to keep cultural exclusion and that I don't think this whole multiculturalism thing is working when everyone's against Okay, and then this guy's just here saying hey, how about we that council republic as if that's gonna work No one in this nation is communist. I don't know why they're trying to do this. Oh, Russia got Punjab in their market <laughs> Oh no. But you know, Persia has been playing a nice market game as well. They got Afghanistan and Eva. Also, they got Macron in there. I, yeah, indeed they did. And meanwhile, Russia uh, won. They, they, Russia just won the game. Wait, did they? Wait, they got rid of Swiss neutrality, Austro-Hungarian market, I right? And a few, an affair between Paul von Hittenberg and Felix Goering's spouse has reached our ears, threatening to affect his public image. We don't listen. <laughs> he fucked Goering's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a 10% chance. Felix Goering will get syphilis. Does Paul von Hindenburg have syphilis? Is that what? Is that why? Jesus Christ. He took a shit so hard he gets syphilis. And there's a 10% chance it makes Goering drink. <laughs> okay, what the f- Hold on, where is he? There he is. What the fuck? What the fuck, Paul? Oh yeah, you have syphilis. You gave him your syphilis because you fucked his wife. <laughs> oh, we just got a new mobilization option, guys. I- I wonder if we're going to use- oh, oh no, not minus 20% recovery rate. Whatever will I do? <laughs> it's just objectively better to take it. Oh no, I lose recovery rate. Anyway, it's time to kill everyone. Okay, these borders make it look like we're just penetrating Barotsi. <laughs> I- I'm sorry, Barotsi? Barotsi? But it looked like we took a little dip out of Barotsi. <laughs> Oh, Wilhelm the Third. Honestly deserved. He's fucking stupid. He's I have to deal with all of these chuckle fucks. <laughs> Why are they all racist? All want this. Every single one of them. This is literally the worst. Like, I, I have to deal with a country full of racists. Is this what the USA feels like? 
shouldn't make these jokes. God, imagine being in charge of the US. My deepest condolences. Oh my god, are we having World War Persia again? The Ottomans joined, alright. I, we are having World War Persia. But who also, Punjab also joined. Okay, everyone is here. All of the boys coming in town. If Russia joins this, I swear to god. Corporate governor. Ah, uh, Russia is also in. Oh wait, they started with Egypt. Who's... Who's attacking Egypt? Another fucking Omani civil war. Okay, I'm actually losing money now because of my bureaucracy. I need to build bureaucratic buildings. This, this, this cannot continue. Oligarchy. You're too powerful for me to say no is the thing. Would like that though. I'm doing that. You really want oligarchy? You really want oligarchy? You really? Do you? Yeah, you want. You want oligarchy. I'm going for it then. You know what? I almost forgot Ireland was here. <laughs> I would have forgotten if it wasn't for the flag of Great Britain. I can't believe Egypt did that. Yeah, th th that's Egypt's fault. It was Russia who landed in London, don't get me wrong, but what? Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> everyone. Every single person is an ethno-nationalist. Hold on. Let, let me see. Okay, reformer. Authoritarian of the rule, fuck. All right. We got the ethno-nationalist. Let's go. And then another one. No born Jennings. That's the name. If someone ever asked me, what do you think an American name sounds like? I'd fucking go on. No born gems! Actually, I'd go with just fucking James Michael. Imagine thinking you have an exotic name and then your fucking name is James. Not sure why I'm currently targeting people named James, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do it though. See, I'm very annoyed that this little state right here never gets colonied. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you out. Violent. And Hindenburg is gonna do it. Are you out of the war yet? Yeah, you are. Okay. But I am now in a diplomatic play. I'm fucking stupid. I know you won't be able to hear. I am currently listening to the remastered Victoria 2 soundtrack. It's the only thing I've enabled. It's so fucking good. Like the original soundtrack was good, but then they remade it 10 thousand times better. It's actually crazy. Crazy? I was crazy. Well, 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 Paul. Time to get your plus 10% kill rate. You're not becoming president with that popularity. But let me tell you something. You're becoming a good ass general. We are gassing them to death. <laughs> oh god! That often! That often! Oh my god! Why Why am I paying for Timbuktu? I'm not colonizing there. Am I fucking stupid? And now we have gone ahead and gotten oligarchy. And now we're gonna go ahead and trade states. We're gonna give you... Very well. Apparently that isn't connected. Okay. We're gonna give you East Sahara. There you go. The normal Sahara. And finally, Inner Mauritania. Mauritania. And there we go. Big German Niger. Oh god, do you have units? Oh, you have units. Finally, you can do stuff. Oh my god, one take. Look at them. Oh my god. They are ginormous. See, the problem with this is that it really wants me to expand my colony in Southern Africa. However, I colonize fast, <laughs> so I'm not gonna do it. Also, our legitimacy has hit a new high with this whole oligarchy business because goddamn. And now you're Republican. I see this as an absolute betrayal. Like, we just went oligarchy, boys. And now no one wants technocracy. Y'all suck. Also, I'm not really sure why they added this new nation here. Maybe it's, you know, a topical uh, inclusion. <laughs> Paradox trying to make a joke. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Gaza. I wonder where that's from. Hey, we reached 15 SOL. I should stop making jokes at the expense of other people. I'm sure as hell not going. The British East India Company has done particularly well. Because they have been, like, free the entire game. Meaning they could actually develop a decent economy, which they never do. Not the Messina obligation! Well, since I got an obligation on you, it's about that time. Okay, you would say no. Taking this, by the way. Don't, don't damage relations. Improve them. Oh, they see me as a military threatening neighbor. Why would that make your attitude towards me worse? I feel like, you know, as a smart person, you would see that and say, Huh, I should probably not piss them off. You, you what? France? Huh? France? France, you're fighting Russia in Austria-Hungary over this. Conquer John Poor and humiliate Austria-Hungary. Are you certain? Wait, I, hello? French Republic? Raymond Nabor? You are a Repu- Conservative agent? <laughs> An act, man? What are you? Democrat? That's- what do you mean, conservative agenda? Oh, the teacher. What What were you teaching? How to conquer John Paul? Ugh, oh, for fuck's sake. Now we have the Irish revolt, which is actually just, oh yeah, we want to be a republic because, you know, this whole king business didn't do us too well. But we decided to king, to keep King Kevin. So yeah, President Eamon O'Brien is, is doing quite nicely here as a corporatist. You know, as a corporatist, I would, I would also think you would be a technocrat, but you aren't. So uh, congrats on that. Commander in chief, though, so look at you go. Wait, how did he, how are you a commander in chief? Oh, that's why. No, wait. Why? How? How are you a commander in chief? You can only make 
You can only make, like, authoritarian people commander-in-chief. What? I think this is genuinely impossible. Like that, the second one. 75% of state regions in Africa must be completely owned by any country with a capital outside of Africa. Subject of any country with a capital outside of Africa or a reorganized power in Africa. 95 of state regions in Africa. That's a big ass continent. I think it's worded wrong, but it, if, if it's not worded wrong, that's a that's a big number. And quite impossible, if I do say so myself. Like the Zanzibar has colonization. They do. Huh, look at them go. France is slowly but surely getting pushed out. Also, France landed in Venice. Because they can, I guess. And looking through their units over here, none of them have even a shred of a fight against me. Like, no one- oh, none of these can defeat me. I have- I have so much better tech than them, Jesus Christ. Why can't I do aerial reconnaissance? Because I didn't. I didn't build planes yet. God, all of these require oil, and I got none. Why is everyone ruining my relations with them? <laughs> what the fuck? We have 56 relations, what do you mean? What if I expel your diplomat? And then <laughs> improve relations? That would be funny. Like, these are really good, like all of them. I, but I'm getting the 10% bureaucracy because ports. My ports are using oil. Ports use oil now. Christ, where can I build oil rigs? Everywhere. Build oil rigs everywhere right now. Also, of course I'm building you in Saxony. Nothing is, nothing ever gets built outside of Saxony. Oh, I can also build tanks here. That's not the fucking war machine industries of dress. So I think after it's built, it should be completely fucking worthless. Because no one's building airplanes. Yeah. Aeroplanes, cheap as the Not good. Mobilization. There we go. It shouldn't be cheap as dirt. I just got stonks. Jesus Christ. Did you? Did they really put stonks in the game? Also, I can definitely get chocolate on all of these. <laughs> like they, these guys don't even have liquor. Jesus Christ. Also, tobacco. I can get all of that. Yeah, I can get all of that. And now if we go over to the war industries. Why is it so cheap? Apparently nothing's buying it. Just weird. <laughs> is it only used once I mobilize? If so, I'm gonna invade Gaza now. So I'm mobilizing with airplanes on. Wait, you're still down here. Okay, now airplanes... Airplanes need to be... Okay. And now, suddenly, you're very profitable. I built exactly 50, and I need 62. Oh, right. Russia! I can get... I can get stuff out of this. Hold on. We're gonna liberate Latvia, because we're just very nice people. And then we're gonna go ahead and transfer Finland. And then we're gonna mobilize a single army. Experi... Helmut von Milky! And there he is with a vengeance. Look at him. We're also gonna promote him. Look at a major general. Boom, boom, boom. Reckless advance, that's such a bad idea. All right, so now that we have put a single army on the front with uh, no morale, we have an advantage of 68. Are the Russians coming down? Yeah, the Russians are coming down to Gaza. Just hold your build. We do have aerial reconnaissance in that though. We need a lot of planes. I feel like the market hasn't yet realized. They're not building any war machine. There you go, one in Pomeranian. But for now, very profitable. 50 are being produced here. I'm gonna put one down in Berlin because honestly, Berlin deserves one. It's our goddamn capital. At least have some respect for it. The ace officer. Permanently. Home front hero. That is the highest in the world. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Jesus, I'm so sorry. The demoralization. The amount of Russians that are just kind of running away is is also really, really huge. We have lost 4k to that 23k. Uh, we 44 and 175 and we're winning handily. Okay, we got Gaza. And now, now they're returning back home. By the way, not even all of my armies are mobilized. And we don't have enough planes. What do planes actually do? Hold on, I wanna know. Uh, battle occupation. Oh, they give more occupation. Rapid advance. And less losing chance. Well, well less lost chance. They really attacked with less people. <laughs> no! German can't come, no! <laughs> German Niger, yes! <laughs> Look at you! Oh, we get less lost chance and some will still get it. Fuck's sake. Everyone's going home. We have a front. Fellas, fellas, please. I can't get you there because you're involved in the battles. What the fuck are you talking about? Please win. All right, so we couldn't, so the, the thing that happened there is we couldn't deploy them at the front because they were having battles at the front and they left the front because, you know, these the people down here capitulated, which uh, makes sense if you really think about it. I would also leave the front if I heard, oh yeah, a random other nation capitulated. <laughs> we really put 114 guys on, on the encircle of the actual front. Huh, that's crazy. Well, we gotta do it to him. Mission to Africa. That's the weirdest take I've ever seen. We didn't even get Kiev. <laughs> Wait, this is Kiev. We did get half of Kiev. And now we have all of Kiev. Booming oil industry. Which is pretty good. Because we need oil for the planes too. Submarines. Oh, I like that. Hold on a second. Wait, shift right click and everything goes. I read comments. That was a that was a comment that was given to me. It was told to me that if you shift right click, uh, shit, shit, shit goes good. Oh, submarines are actually in di the completely different one. All right. Better do it then, you know? <laughs> you better get some submarines. What is going on? 
Unify, oh, Unify Italy! And everyone joined Austria because they don't want to deal with a big Sardinia Piedmont. Yeah, good point. Wait, France, Lenin, and Estonia! Wait, I, I, I gotta get angry. I gotta get angry before the French do. Hold on. Oh, I can decrease my infamy by 10. I really needed that. Thanks. They didn't do it. Ah, oh, there you go. This is eerily familiar. The French not only landed in Estonia, by the way, they also landed down here in Rostov. <laughs> and I'm now going, I'm now going in on Russia. The French are really capitalizing on this whole thing. Well, there goes the East India Company. <laughs> Huh? When did that happen? I guess you can explode as the Asinia company now. Okay, I must say we are actually gaming on the Russians completely. And we can press both war goals right now. So, let's take a look at the dead. We lost a lot in attrition, 100,000. And they only lost 40,000 in attrition. <laughs> oh, yeah, we fucked them. We absolutely annihilated them. Jesus Christ. Well, Finland is now German. And Latvia is now free. Wait, I'm going in from the north? No, I'm Wait, that flag is... It doesn't even fit. Like, that bar is, is slimmer than that bar. God damn it. Wait, they switched customs union again. At this time, they're in the British customs union. I really want to attack, but if I attack, the Austria-Hungary is definitely gonna join because of their defense. And because they're antagonists. And hold on, Britain is doing what with Bengal? Return Bengali Malaya. Oh, and ban slavery. Well, that's not that bad. I feel like Britain is actually over here helping them. The big, one of the big ones, you know? And meanwhile, the French Republic... Fucking... Bastard. Everyone wants to go off monarchy. Like, the big boys really don't like the monarchy. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm taking it. I'm doing the funny. See, we're an oligarchy. So it would be an authoritarian dictatorship. <laughs> In Germany. Why are you cautious of me? Are you free to you? <laughs> what do you want from me? The fact I only have a balance of 24 convoys. <laughs> I think I need more. Preserve monarchy, I see. Of course, it's the South Germans. Always new to a traitor. See, this law enactment doesn't have any chance to debate, <laughs> but it has a 21% uh, chance to stall because 21.5%. So that's the stall chance, and the advanced chance is like everyone who's just for it. And I, I literally just got a success. All right. Donation of knowledge! Would be nice if I hadn't already completely maxed it out. Yeah, 335 on cat. You know, we gotta really end the slave trade. Would be funny if, like, any of my guys over here <laughs> decided to <laughs> enact slavery. Sardinia Piedmont did not win that war. They wanna cut Sardinia Piedmont down to size, which I'm pretty sure will do nothing but get the Pope back. And then an Amelia Treaty Pope, which is pretty funny. I can annex subjects just on Finland. That's pretty funny, too. <laughs> and we just got our last support equipment, giving us more offense more morale damage and more devastation and it takes oil that is possibly the worst <laughs> that is possibly the worst yeah oil input that is hurts every time i press it oh my god oil wait we don't even <laughs> i didn't give these guys rail transport that's that's funny both east both french east africa and french senegal have a <laughs> have a communist uprising right now well they're not communists they're presidential republic with landed voting and these guys are a monarch why do they have that flag <laughs> They are a Catholic theocracy. I no, you're a monarchy. What do you mean? Oh, Denmark is going for Togo. Look at them go. You know, if I was smart, I should probably like go in and take a treaty port. All right, who's got the biggest PP? Uh, uh, Bengal has the biggest PP. I'm taking it. I'm not taking their PP. I'm, I'm taking a treaty port. Got to declare interest though, and I can steal another person. Maximilian. Tulume, the communist man. One of my front horn zones is, is part of the is part of the thing. I mean, pr yeah, makes sense. I'm getting rid of the horn zones, <laughs> but you know, it's rude. And Francis landed in one of their things, even pushed here. North India interest activated, so we can go ahead and do a little dazzling. And we can also move over here, and we're gonna mobilize these guys. I'm pretty sure we can move them to our territory, which is closest by, being the here. So it will take less time to do the naval invasion. Austria-Hungary. 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 Why can't I liberate Hungary? <laughs> I can only liberate Transylvania, which is funny. But oligarchy and appointed bureaucrats. 32 infamy. No, thank you. I think I'll go with war reps. And then I think I'll shoot him. Yeah, but he can't even push Sardinia Piedmont. I doubt he'll be pushing me. Yeah, this bro is simply unable to get the push in. And then he declares war on me. Wait, did I ever incorporate Alsace? Yeah, I did. I was confused because Alsace was the only one not seceding in the south. Uh, this motherfucker. We are young. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> what? General of Germany. That's hilarious. <laughs> that, that is honestly hilarious. <laughs> You're Republican, which which doesn't which means you uh, you don't care about voting. So oligarchy is actually the thing you prefer right now. Uh, <laughs> this flag doesn't make sense. This guy being in charge doesn't make sense. But that 
That's not that I enjoy. Wait, did you back down? No, you dude. That is honestly just free money. Oh, export grain. You'd love to see it. Honestly, our people are so fucking rich, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, we can export aeroplanes for no reason. We can get ourselves wood. Oh, we can get like here. We can get wood from here. Oh, we need coal. You making glass? Nah. You, you too stupid. Cannot import. We already have it. Oh, I'm already importing silk from you. You got fish? No. You got tobacco? Yeah, you do. Thanks. <laughs> that, that GDP. That GDP is doing nice. Expand our colony in the Congo. I'm guessing I'm some. I, I somehow got territory that also belongs to. I. <laughs> I'm gonna wait on that as well. Strategic regions. Con oh, this is part of the Congo. Huh. If that is part of the Congo and this is part of South. Africa. I should be able to do this. And it doesn't really matter. We got big South Africa. Oh, you, you you should work on schools, man. You should really work on public schools. Oh, you can get, like, way better taxes. Let, get that. You know, I'm managing my subjects over here, making them have, like, just local police force. That's a bit rough, buddy. Oh, come on. In Zambia. Am I still colonizing? I am not. Stop. I have a conscription. Which army made it? Not part of anything. I can't delete it. Oh, North India. I got it here. So I guess create an army over here. Create army. Wait, I can fully build and not lose money. Let me test that theory. Do we become a Yonta? Wilhelm is part of the armed forces. That might be it, actually. USA declared rivalry. Everyone hates me. Why? I don't understand. The only one that doesn't hate on me is Great Britain. Activity hop is a treaty port is not my property. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to uh, figure out this whole economy thing out, so I'm I'm not, I'm gonna just take your silk. Pain, sides of Great I don't care. I'm only liberate Navarra and Estonia from Russia. I don't wanna. <laughs> I, I don't wanna scrap with Russia again. I'm gonna send these guys down here. I'm gonna send my navy to here. Oh, it's HQ. I'm just gonna send these guys here. I'm gonna get war reps. And I'm gonna mobilize my second army to go ahead and defend Finland. Or more accurately, attack from Finland. Wait, they backed down after all of that. Really? I'm apparently building very much in my little uh, culture migration target around your states. I think I've done that. But anyway, uh, uh, over here in my treaty port, I apparently built a bunch of shit and <laughs> it's, it's all very profitable, don't get me wrong. But I, I don't I don't get enough transports. And the motor industry is here is making bank. Everything is different. Also, I kind of forgot uh, about automobile. Automobile construction, we can go ahead and do truck transport instead of rail. Because quite honestly, I don't know where I've built railways and just driving around when I don't have a railway is the better option. Because, like, I, I have to invade people, and when I invade people, I don't know if they build a railway or not, so automobile is the better one. Ha, <laughs> you gotta deal with them. Fucking idiot. Oh, France wants to get the two states of Slovenia Piedmont. We need rubber? We don't have enough rubber? Where are we producing? A lot over here. Okay. And now we're gaming again. What's up, Beijing? What, what's up, Beijing? All of these states incorporated? No. They ever incorporate these states? That trade agreement with Britain is helping me very much right now. Ah, oh, that a revenue. The second highest population in Berlin is Albania. I don't think I like the fact that aeroplanes are now only profitable when I'm at war. Okay, now I'm losing money while it's built. Hong Kong gaming. Why can't you upgrade your navy? <laughs> it's really weird. Christ, even more oil. We don't have a single oil thing here. We're just we're trying to build them. These guys don't even have... <laughs> like, one of my armies didn't have first aid. That was that is a new low, actually. Grand exhibition. We have nothing to show. Oh, never mind. This is the greatest <laughs> exhibition of them all. And we all survey the sewers because... I don't even know why you're striking. I'm actively making your <laughs> working better. Like, I went level 2, safe and level 2 welfare. What, they, what are they complaining about? Not one less point. <laughs> well, well. NCO. Oh, I can also do this. I also have squad infantry, which I never updated. Whoops. Oh, I need radios. Didn't I didn't get radios. Oh, radios again. Oh, down here. Oh, communist Britain is now becoming a protectorate of Britain. Oh, yeah, we must condemn it. Yeah, sure. You still have slavery? God damn, bro. Wait. Who's in charge of your country? Is is the big... Is the teddy. It's the big T, man. The man tougher than any nail on a chalkboard. God damn. Oh, currently a single state is having a strike. I need to have one state. Anyone produce radios? No. Nope. Okay. Does the Rhineland have like they aren't they aren't unhappy, no, they just don't have market access. I'm getting tired of Zanzibar that doesn't even have Oman living in it. Hibity Dibity. Why are you uncertain? I feel like you should be a little more like in fear. Every time I mobilize my army there's an aeroplane input good charge. Because it's not profitable until I mobilize. That's really stupid. <laughs> 
Wait, you embargoed me. <laughs> I'll do you one better. Oh no, now I won't get my one oil I got from them. I can now export oil, I'm that rich. It really didn't back down, huh? Well, granted, I'm not at the front yet, so they might as well win. The war's gonna break out before I arrive at the front. Yeah, I didn't arrive at the front yet. And now, now because they immediately pushed, I bugged, and now I need to wait another 10 days. That's, are they gonna push again? Okay, this time I'm here. Heal rate, oh. Wait, this shit went up. God damn it. French commune is back. Why? When did you do that? <laughs> Just got filled. Oh, it needs a leak. Well, never mind. Wait, cars. <laughs> That's gonna be very profitable for the car business. Oh my god, the prosperity, the productivity. God damn. Yeah, this uh, this company is never gonna do anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get one that's actually. That just gives me more throughput. I will take that. And then we got these two. The spans. Wait, no, that's the one. That's the one I just clicked on. I'm stupid. Less military goods cost. That is what I goddamn need. Have you seen how much it costs to maintain this? Okay, since no one has built the sewers, I'm just gonna go ahead and improve for later. And thus ends is mine. And I can establish a colony in Zanji. Company, of course. German East Africa is now a fee. Come on, protect some speech <laughs> wait hold on i just got springtime of the people 1908 also by the way i just got the great hunger for absolutely like i have one of the best center livings in the world food is very very affordable and there's plenty enough of it. i'm gonna be 100 percent honest i don't want to deal with this uprising so um i'm gonna lessen the blow a little bit why does everyone want to bring it why can you not upgrade this stuff i don't understand i think it's pretty fucking stupid that i have the rise of radicals like everyone's trying to be a radical boy and then <laughs> and the thing we get here is um I'm trying to desperately get agrarianism. Why do you want that? Because you're neutral towards agrarianism and hate everything else. Because you rolled an anarchist and you rolled a vanguardist has the exact same opinion i'm shooting myself in the foot but i gotta because otherwise i'm shooting myself in the foot harder because they get all the oil and finally after months of preparation the exhibition is finally finished and is being heralded as one of the greatest exhibition of the age. Just wonderful. And I got a tank. Don't, don't worry about that. It should really give a bigger, <laughs> just a hundred prestige. You're a little late. I can't believe I'm getting it. Wait, the Great Qing is pushing out Shangdong and Guangdong. Is that, you were gonna conquer that? Ah, I see. Who's fighting against? Everyone. Everyone doesn't want this. Good. You're getting it back though. Shangdong Treaty. Treaty port. French communists getting Sinai. I feel like formation travel speed is pretty good. The support on an acting universal suffrage is quite extreme. <laughs> so immediately after I got to agrarianism, they want me to enact intervention. I mean, I'm fine with that. Did, did they lose? Okay, they now really want universal suffrage, but it's it's not a hundred yet. Also, it is quite tough. You know what, I'm getting my second, second biggest army out of this. Oh, membership list discovered. You love to see it. Okay, so this is how my front looks now. <laughs> we got tanks, artillery, hussars, tanks. We got the machine gunners over here in the front. Everything is on fire. Past us the dirt station guard. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the flamethrowers are really doing it dirty. Oh, the, oh, the planes that don't have a looping animation. Huh, defeated it. Why is the USA invading them? Because the USA wants to conquer Lower Egypt. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't even know why these guys are trying to do a civil war right now, because the only people that are angry are the trade unions. Completely fine. I really need telephone. They are actually now approving of me. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I can grant him leadership. So now he's in charge of the petite bourgeoisie. I can get universal suffrage right now. I have to get universal suffrage right now. Damn it! We are no longer Yanta. We now have Edward. Oh my god. Oh, ha! <laughs> oh! Okay, Jesus Christ. What, what, are, what are even the parties? <laughs> okay, we got the free-minded party that is going to win. We got the free conservative party and then we got the okay we should probably if they're going to win make them win feminist you know what that is not bad the revolution victorious which is unfortunate <laughs> it's very unfortunate i have less and less authority I, we get legitimately everyone in here every single party you know what get him i mean the rule folk yeah the, the, that's getting a lot more votes now in 50 odd days this number is gonna be different they want world revolution okay i really dislike the fact that they never got like the northern Madagascar part. Like, they just got southern Madagascar and a port. You got a new president? <laughs> this is our... This is our makeup. There's still 22% chance we can get it. 22% chance we can get interventionism, guys. He can't upgrade. I hate it. It's, I despise it. And now everyone is trying to call for women's suffrage. Can't exile them. God damn it. I want to get rid of them. Like, the only diplomatic play I can do is annex them. But I kind of want to raise their uh, thingy so they can declare wars on their own. So I don't have to do it. Oh, to get a national militia. That's horrible. Can make them get <laughs> commanded. Like, did Niger get... Oh, yeah, they do have graduated taxation now. Oh, I can make them get primary schools. Very, very nice. Someone has Zeppelin. I'm guessing Great Britain. Don't want to get rid of them. I want to get rid of the feminists. But why is the feminist supporting migration control? Because the petite bourgeoisie supports it. This Germany is 
is becoming more and more liberal by the second. We now have interventionism and since everyone is screaming right now and the Great Hunger was closed, he wants me to construct the Suez Canal. Oh, I can acquire land. Nice. And a build Suez Canal. Pretty sure it still does not give any productivity. But we shall find out. Every single one of you chuckle fuck. Yeah, they're, they're, they're popping up so much I can't, I can't get rid of them in time. Wait, why do the nihilists hate women? What? Is that just because you're part of the intelligence? By the way, I have stupid amounts of loyalists. Like 17 million. <laughs> just because of all of the support. I just got an app. And I'm falling, I'm falling in the sk in the great power scale. Can you hold them off for 110 weeks? Please, I didn't know this war was still going on. Please. Ah, they, they got Russia out of the war. And so now they have. Now they've landed. And they're going to acquire the Sinai. But I also have the Sinai. And I'm already building the sewers. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, shrapnel. This is not too shabby. They got pushed out. <laughs> How? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, they got somehow pushed out, which is interesting. I kind of want to offer my support to Ireland because like I am now very much Republic. I am Republic man. Only obligation? Really? I am Republic man. I'm gonna upgrade this army. Put some heavy tanks in there. And more importantly, wait we landed in, in the other island. <laughs> we landed over here in Munster and <laughs> walked through the enemy territory. Oh Jesus Christ. We have so many like tanks, squadrons. They, they are actually not that behind with trench infantry like they're in the they're in the trenches but we are already in the tanks <laughs> finally getting the radio that is a lot of offense and that's not a lot of defense but probably because they got them oh poor visibility too oh jesus that yeah, didn't go too well i like how we pushed everywhere but the capital that is truly one of the plays of all time i mean the other island is honestly not doing too shabby like they they are winning battles which is already better than most i'm getting tired of seeing that i'm all i'm all <laughs> i'm still in the great shake i'm still over there don't mind me they are going for it again still only on minus seven i hope they're pushing them out again it's not gonna happen but it would be funny women's suffrage deeds not worth pretty sure i had that achievement already i don't know why my in-game achievements got reset but yeah the only ones i got here are stonk what will happen first will they capitulate or will my navy get there hey go home <laughs> jesus christ they've, they've just been chilling over here in the world how did how did they even get there <laughs> how did the netherlands even get there and how did the british get there i don't get it it's not even it's like it's it's part of british gabon which has a port so this isn't even cut off that's just a thing they have national telephone exchange with switzerland i i should be building making 30 more k how, how much am i paying them i'm paying them for eight years 30k a month 30k a week god damn that's a lot of money oh they've come back reason they're getting the Sinai is because of the sewers but i'm building it already yeah they're definitely getting in with that one again i'm pretty sure the front splits in two because uh because of my part of the Sinai <laughs> they signed a peace agreement too oh that is that hurts they went home with a tail between their legs that's rough buddy i should get electricity i should get electricity like i've been holding off getting electricity Electricity because it's now a local good for some reason, but god I should get electricity as power cables do not exist according to paradox and The reason I'm building it in every state is because power lines don't exist and electricity is a local good. What is what Belgium? <laughs> Monarchy single party state. King Otto sucks a go but god. I think I've seen that one before. <laughs> you got the British dice. I have very much fallen me power scale. <laughs> I don't have the uh, I may have the biggest not I don't have the, I may have the strongest army in the but I don't have prestige. Probably because I keep killing people. Yeah, that makes sense. And also the minus five prestige. Zeppelin, yo, that's just ten prestige. Oh, I, I could have gotten and that. Why am I, what am I doing? Wait, input control for rubber and silk. I don't think that is a problem. <laughs> I crashed the economy. It's over. Okay, so no one is, is using. So the motor industries can now use electricity so they produce more and as they produce the local electricity now as they use the electricity people would want to work in the power plant right yeah and so that they they cancel each other out basically so basically everywhere where i have electricity and a motor workshop i'm gonna switch them over over here i don't have a motor workshop so i can just Go ahead and switch the railway. No motor industry, power plant, railway, railways. Now they are very profitable. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna wait until the pl the plower, the power plants are more done. Ah, fuck it. I'm just gonna switch them over now. So we're gonna build a bunch of motors, publicly trade them. Also get radio production in here. We just got phones, so telephones, which gives us a lot of bureaucracy. And with that bureaucracy, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And railways, all electric. And with the electric railways, the shortage of infrastructure should be 
fought against. And the first election giving us a great win for suffragists and the women's suffrage has been established. I'm gonna also go to migration controls because Jesus Christ, a lot of people want 24 million people. Portugal isn't even colonizing. They just make me not able to colonize because they have a claim on it. Could push them out. I very much wanna annex Tripletania. Those free states give a lot of it. Austria-Hungary is leaning, but even, yeah, if they join like that, doesn't really matter because I have the world's most modern military that includes tanks. In which one did I put all the- Of course, uh, they will have the advantage because they heavily outnumber me. So I'm just gonna mobilize a second now. Christ, why are you building so much? Because just of the sheer amount of them, I don't have that much of an advantage. They're not even using, like, trench infantry. I have a disadvantage. Bye-bye, communist party. Austro-Hungarian war reps would be quite nice. The election results are in, and this is the most legit government I can do. <laughs> so the Congo made another uprising happen, which is unfortunate. Okay, yeah, on the defense, they have absolutely no chance, and when I'm on the offense, they have absolutely no chance. Here they are on the offense, and they have absolutely no chance. They somehow got a lot here, but I don't know why the defense on this one is so low. Shouldn't be that low. There's a lot of people. <laughs> There's a lot of people they are putting in there. Yeah, I'm gonna lose that because of the sheer number. <laughs> yeah, over here with similar numbers. Similar, I say. It's, it's They have 10k more, but I, I'm beating them. Wait, even Finland's beating them. <laughs> we are finally retreating. We killed 40,000 and wounded another 80. Okay. Oh, German East Africa going in for the kill. You have migration controls, which um, really helps this. Communist Congo is doing the work. Right? Can we designate the strategic objective on the capital, please? See, the main problem I'm having is that my puppets think it's a good idea to attack um, after I attack but then they just lose, and after they lose, um, like all of all of my progress gets just undone, which is less than ideal for. Also, by the way, electricity is no longer a shortage. Well, it's less of a shortage now, because we have got a lot of it. <laughs> we had a number one producer, actually. Okay, we get Moravia. We already have West Galicia. We could just go for Transylvania. That is the main. Uh, remove it here, so we don't have to deal with my puppet. Designate a strategic objective over here. And we get completely pushed out of Moravia on our brink of victory. I don't know why we're going for Moravia and Bohemia, because the strategic objective is down here. We should be going for these two states. And, of course, I have killed a lot of them. I don't know why they still only lose two from this. 600 out of 700k. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know why they are still so willing. Can I just pull out, like... like I have a pretty good advantage. I don't. I don't think I need that many in here. Uh, can you go down? Do, 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 do. do a naval invasion for me real quick. A little bit inefficient. We are going to promote this guy because he's an expert offensive planner, and then we are going to promote this guy. Yeah, even after we left, <laughs> we get an 81 advantage. We just have less generals on the front, which we should probably deal with. What's of encouragement? Arthur Zeller, the leader of the rural folk, has been increasing his popularity recently, giving fascist speeches that seem to captivate people's hearts. We don't need another agitator or fruit. Aren't you an interesting person. <laughs> Why am I involved with each? Their navy should be bad enough for me to be able to kill them. We're killing them. Okay, I seem to be finally pushing through. I don't know why Egypt is so adamant to be in this war. Like, Morocco went out immediately. And we are now shooting the Egyptians in Austria. Act protected speech. The petite bourgeoisie doesn't like And they're the big boys. Yeah, I can just say no. Why am I doing that? N no. Why isn't that interesting? <laughs> Egypt is out. And we landed. So... Triplutania is gonna be out of this war soon, and so is Austria-Hungary. That breakthrough through South Tyrol, uh, no. That breakthrough through, uh, uh Austria-Hungary really, really helped. <laughs> Okay, now that you're out of here, I want you to do another naval invasion, but this time in Gabon. And Austria-Hungary is out of the war. And so is Triplotania. So now I have to uh, wait. I'm gonna demobilize these guys. Just costs me a lot of money. And now I can land. You can go home. I like how German Niger uh, has just decided we're going south now. And it's now creeping in here. But they're not going for air anymore. Yeah, they really just decided, nah. We should get more German. A tough pillager and a ambitious stalwart defender. Zimbabwe got free. You better win it. <laughs> you better bloody win it. How did Zimbabwe win against you? How can I be called fourth in the world when I just beat <laughs> the French commune is not the big... How did you surpass Britain? Have to... Huh? Suspicions about an internal threat within our generals and leaders have been on a rise, reaching Arthur Zeller's ears. And the necessity of examining threats against the fascist regime is palpable. Hasty words, elusive looks, and they are everywhere. We must handle this with extreme caution. Execute them publicly. Helmut von Meltke dies. May they rot in jail. Well... They are fucking in here. <laughs> They're in the government, which is... Which is why 
<laughs> that have, I'm gonna give you would not accept. You don't want that. Migration attraction, that's pretty good. Power plants throughput. This, that is so good, actually. Oh, we can get this. We really need to stand it. Input good charge of electricity here. Because there's no electricity built here. What? I like how German Niger is one of the biggest names on the map. Completely meet it. With fascist ideals taking root in other groups and discontent rising from the masses, members of the rural folk have influenced enough members of the petite bourgeoisie to make them choose more regime-aligned leaders. So after the current president is gone, I uh, know, we'll have this guy. So Kurt, this is your last term, I'm afraid. Yourself, German, anyway. <laughs> This is, uh, this is getting out of hand real quick. <laughs> With our fascist ideals taking root, the junkers have joined. I'm pretty sure they're marginal, but loyal plus 20. Membership... Well, that's, that's not very good for you. <laughs> I think this whole communism business... I think we've defeated it. Oh no! Misclick. I'm slowly but surely getting rid of all of the people that are unfortunate in our new nation. I'm gonna be honest, I don't wanna risk another Zimbabwe. It wasn't gonna happen, because they don't have troops and, well, they do. A safe country must be safe from within. Traitors and plotters can be everywhere, and we must be able to take care of. We must suppress every anarch. Currently, there's only one. And now the only thing we need is a single party state, and we are working on that. And then the nation is above. As it should. Election results are, um, uh, and that party name is. No, Kurt isn't gonna be here for long. <laughs> I've created something I cannot undo. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, I may or may not, uh, have, have done something. We, we're organizing crackdowns on the communists, are we? The industrialists are joining our cause. That is fine. That is very fine. Never been more fine. I've, on a scale of one to fine, I would say we're fine. This is our new president. Single party state, ethno state, outlawed descent, militarized police. An agitator just appeared in Germany. Oh, well, isn't that just convenient? We're right here in time. I can add the industrialists to the government. Oh, oh. Oh no, the organized majority. And we just... Nice. Everyone wants to join, huh? You know, I feel like we didn't really have a cause for this. I feel like this time, we just did it. We didn't have a reason. At, at least in our timeline, we had like a reason. We didn't have one this time. We just decided one day. And now we're here. Everyone is behind this decision. Everyone. Like... The republic I held became a monarchy again. And now the communists are rising up against it. And because they have trench warfare, uh, this, this war is lasting. Oh my god, they've actually invaded. Successfully too. The communists are winning in Ireland. And the communists are winning in Britain. But this time it's the French communists doing it. And they're doing it to change the re Oh, Please don't land. Oh, they are landing. Oh, they are landing. Oh god, they are landing. Panic retreat. They may just lose. They may just lose. Let's go. They may not lose. <laughs> they are not gonna lose. They're not gonna lose. A hundred thousand people fled. A hundred thousand people wounded on both sides. Sixty thousand, fifty-five thousand. God, they were victorious. Great Britain invaded themselves. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, why are you drawing this lead? Can I really not give you my- Do you really not want triple attack? I'm giving them a state for free and they refuse. Germany is at its territorial height. Wait, Italy? How did you get here? <laughs> Umberto. A communist island is- The communist flag has conquered the hill over the capital of Galway. The capital has fallen. Communism there is all but guaranteed. Oh. <laughs> I can make him a commander. <laughs> Spain is going another great thing. Why is that? Just want to conquer a state. Okay. Everyone in Germany is a loyalist. Where have I seen this before? And why must it always be because of this? <laughs> I got two 16% in a row on mercantilism. Hoffa wants to have an alliance. You know I'm horribly racist, right? <laughs> so racist, in fact, I got the racism. Wait, I want to know the new flags. <laughs> Finland. <laughs> Presidential Republic. I don't know why France is going in so much on like India. Like they conquered all of this territory. This one's burning by the way. <laughs> it's like actively on fire. What is going on? And now they want to do a protectorate of these guys. What is your influence? Those are the biggest guys around. Yeah, I can't even like protectorate these guys. Why is it? Make protectorate because they are a major power. Banana Republic. <laughs> Establish an entry. Oh, that is big. That is a nice flag, honestly. But also, ooh, that's big. The fact that I still don't have constructed the Suez Canal. We constructed the Suez Canal a long time ago. It's pretty funny. It's over here. You know, it, it's not actually productive, which is why it's not hiring. 
Like, I have to maintain it, because there's a Transylvania... There's a Transylvania Civil War over here. French Warfare, by the way. Then there's the Communist Civil War. Fascist Transylvania. They are a duchy, by the way. But, you know, the guy in charge of the land is a fascist. I, yeah. Mercantilism, you love to see it. Now, don't question why I did it. Every single one of my states needs to have a railway that is on level 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Wait, that, that one already has one. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, build on a bunch of railways. Modernization program, which triggers the event of your plan. I feel like I'm making the worst place in the world. Oh my god, the French have landed. <laughs> East Africa has landed. And <laughs> the French have landed over here. Oh god. Why do you like me? You're, the, you're communist. What? Like, she's only here because of the feminist movement, and now she's a full-blown fascist. I mean, if we are outlawing the sand, surely there must be no radicals. How are you planning to join the Nazi party? You're a protectionist. That is not what we're about. Oh, and by the way, uh, trade unions, you're, they're gone. That beard, though. <laughs> it's like, god damn. Austria-Hungary is so gone. Modernization brother. The four-year plan. Construction, building, <coughs> aircraft. I'm pretty sure the front line Fuck them over. Must be. Because they just, yeah, they, they got sent away from the front line. That's what happened. That's an F for the Austria-Hungarian communists. They are completely out. Wait, why do the, why do these guys owe me an obligation? What? They just gave it to me for no reason. And we have, um, uh, we have overcome the haters. <laughs> and you know, with level 5 law enforcement, I feel like we really have overcome the haters. And also, um, the whole home affairs business. <laughs> I wanna know, I wanna know, how many votes did we get? 33 million. That is the people actually voting. 33 million people. 27 million people didn't go vote. I'm getting most of my money. Puppets. <laughs> I'm only making a plus right now because of the amount of puppets and them being goddamn huge. Bengal is really having a civil war right now. The French somehow got pushed out, maybe? Like, they got, they got encircled. German Congo is gonna be, it's gonna be like, celebrating a few days, because like, we only have three, three little ties left, and then I can finally give them the territory. Not actually, I, I actually need to, uh, conquer the I don't have enough op- What is using Man of Wars? Why are my naval bases using Man of Wars? What in here is using Man of Wars? Ironclads? 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 Iron. What do you mean? What do you mean, Man of War? What's that naval base in Zanzibar? Oh, you chuckle fuck. Upgrade your army. <laughs> Not my problem. Love a fascist. <laughs> Love a fascist appears. You know, I actually don't know how Italy did it. We killed them so fast I couldn't even see the battle. Okay. The unfortunate thing about um, being so bloody effective is that our devastation is also pretty effective. Though it's, uh, <laughs> the devastation is getting... French actually got pushed out. All of these states are unco unincorporated. Unincorporated, unincorporated. Where is your capital? This is your... Wait, where is your capital? What do you mean here? That's the capital. I'm just gonna go ahead and expand our colon. Congo. Congo. This is East Africa. And this isn't connected. Niger. <laughs> Every time I don't want to deal with something, I just call Niger. They always do me a solid. Unless, you know, it's it's goddamn Tripletania. You know, I can't, I, I can't, I can't deal with that. Not happening. I go ahead. Burn of the century. I feel like we've had that. Like, everyone is just conquering Chinese land. <laughs> Entire states. Is that why? Oh, I'm now number one GDP. Nice. Is that why they're above in the ledger than me? <laughs> because they're stealing China's le Chinese land. People have been complaining about the different standards of living here and Belgium. Bros, we are Germany. They are Belgium. Do you want Tunisia? Maybe. I don't want to own this land. <laughs> We're militarizing the police. We are making a horror. <laughs> We are just horrible. Not the, not the best time to play Johann's Waltz, but... And now the North Germans are obsessed with fine art. Okay, so I've made electricity be uh, expensive everywhere except Berlin. Because in Berlin we have uh, quite a few levels. <laughs> Colonial exhibition. Jeez. Astounding in education. We, li we literally stole people from over here. And I'm <laughs> showing them off in Berlin. But I, it makes sense, <laughs> you know? That's an actual achievement. Per single thought. Oh, authoritarian. I like how this is an easy achievement. And I don't have it. <laughs> the armed forces coup the government. What an achievement. Can't <laughs> what are these achievements? Per single party state militarized police board and outlawed dissent. I don't wanna. I really don't wanna. But I, I gotta. The armed forces have become extreme because of the militarized police force on five. The more I'm playing this, the more depressed I get. <laughs> By the way, actually, no one got ethno state. They all failed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, the Russians have mass conscription. New money. Those members of the German society who have been made wealthy by the recent boom in technological progress have begun establishing fashions of their own, attending more and more extravagant high society functions and exclusive restaurants 
decorated in the style of Art Nouveau. A new world, material, without being real. It gives a lot of standard living. We are basically getting a bunch of events just because we have this journal. We get these events for 10 years, a bit OP. Rate or equal to 10% of par. <laughs> but we are, we are we are gaming. Yeah, that population is becoming a lot less Polish. <laughs> By the way, all the input controller shots in your government position complete. Unlocked the battle chant upgrade. You know, sometimes you just gotta say, fuck it, I'm invading Russia. I mobilized a bunch of people. And uh, I have 100% advantage on the Swedish front. A good 7 advantage on this front. And then a 50 advantage on that. I would also make someone my protectorate, but the only person I can make my protectorate is Serbia, which I can't get to. Can't make Sweden a protectorate because that is 40 maneuvers and I don't have that many. I can get war reps off of Sweden, which I will take. It is time to drown Stura and to ignore the African front. It has begun. They have a lot of defense. No, that's me. <laughs> that is not a lot of- Probably because we are, uh, maybe we were doing a lot of trade. I actually going quite well. We're winning that battle, we are winning every defense, and over here we're just walking over. We are operating quite fast! <laughs> and now we have a complete advantage over here because we overran Sweden. Meanwhile, we have a complete disadvantage on this front. Uh, but, but they aren't pushing. Where have I seen this? <laughs> you know, it's just... <laughs> That's Moscow. Well, it's over here. We already have the capital. Return German Sinai. I, yeah, that. You have the war goal. Funnily enough, I'm only, like, losing 10k <laughs> with my entire army mobile. Oh, the front split again. And everyone's... Where's everyone going? Ah, <laughs> uh, my, my big army has to walk all the way back. One of my armies at least going to... You go to the Swedish because they've somehow pushed. Are you in cars? Yeah, you are in cars. Oh, that is... It does actually also change the model. Swedish war reparation. That is 12k. Very slowly. Huh? And I'm pretty sure, like, I am getting a lot of casualties due to attrition. Yeah, 100. They also have 100k due to attrition and it's their own country, so. We are in Kiev, we are in Moscow, we are in St. Petersburg. It's it's just taking a while until they can get yeah, everything is on them and they don't even change their government. I mean, if anything, I'm making Russia more liberal. You know, it's like they are they are a monarchy with autocracy. I'm I'm just doing them a favor by making them a presidential republic. But then I'm also doing ethno state. You know, you know every good thing has a few downsides. The French communes invading from the north. <laughs> Why are they going in on Egypt? Uh, they want to ban slavery, conquer Middle Egypt, Upper Egypt, and Lower Egypt. So they want to ban slavery and then make a line. How far do we have to push? Only minus four. Uh, minus four per week and. This is how far we've pushed. They're only halfway drained. Like, we defeat them so fast that we don't actually kill them. Yeah, uh, like, they, they run away. Only a few of them get actually wounded. Or, you know, killed. Any works, really. Yeah, the casualties are minimal. Out of 21k, 7k just kind of left. I'm gonna split the front again. God damn it. Oh, we're up 17 on the, uh... Center living. Our GDP is going absolutely nuts, by the way. It's like, it's been, it's been going up. And I think France is finally getting into what they want here. What's America doing? Is America stealing another, yeah. Ah, Russia is accepting the peace. And we got a lot of people. And also war. How much are we getting from Russia? 45k. What is that flag? <laughs> also new flag for Russia. Banana Republic, baby. We got the presidential republic, autocracy, if no state. Yeah, antagonistic. But the ideology alone lines with our wish. Jesus Christ, Brunswick, 19. Then the living is going crazy. Corrupt communist. Ah, who could have seen this coming? Immediately, when he is put in a, when a communist is put in a position of power, they will immediately go corrupt. We can't condone. We simply cannot. The fact that I have a better standard of living than the communist Pretty funny. <laughs> oh, and look who's changed. Socialism in one country. Oh, I believe 10 infamy won't hurt too much. Let's just go ahead. Spain. Isn't that just... Spain declared a rivalry. Well, Spain, let me tell you something. My friend, my buddy, my pal. After this war, you're not gonna be Spain anymore. Andalusia is gonna be free. Catalonia is gonna be free. Navarra is gonna be free. That's like half of your country, Spain. And you can't do anything about that. Which is actually the funnier. Because no matter what you try to do, I'm just gonna go ahead and send my very professional navy over here. And then I'm gonna send 
my 80, 96 men to be stationed over here in North Africa. And the fact that they're stationed in North Africa is actually pretty good for me, because then I will be ever so easier absolutely destroyed. I do believe it is time. 200 men. I am impressed with the amount of people you have sent. I do. I do declare. It doesn't really matter. You... You want a you want that back? I I don't I don't really. Honestly, your six men aren't really gonna pose much of a threat now, are they? Okay, so I do believe it is quite time for a naval invasion. Now that should be the other fifth. I like how literally everyone is trying to stop them. Oh, that dug in. That plus twenty percent army defense is doing them wonders right now. Well, nevertheless, Wadai is uh, basically done, and so is Spain. I'm sorry, Spain. It's it's over. It's, it's so over for you, man. And there goes you. My army has decided to leave the front line. My friend and compatriot, would you mind? <laughs> would you mind not leaving? Would you mind returning, please? You as well, like, deploy at the front line, if you wish. We have Madrid, and they are only losing, like, four again. Like, there, there should really be a lot more war exhaustion from me occupying their capital. Yeah, no. I saw beating them with two. <laughs> now heal with eight. That's fucking embarrassing. Yeah, these guys should probably come and help out in Iberia. And you guys should probably go. We lost the battle. <laughs> but almost won. Jesus Christ. We got 50,000. They got 8,000. Our standard of living has been, like, going up. Nice to see. Like, we're almost at 18 now. And some are still only number five. <laughs> hey, you people. So much fun. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hell no. Nah. You're not getting Transylvania. You want to you wanna annex them. You wanna annex them, is that what you want, huh? Let's fucking scrap! You know what, I've had quite enough of you, Mr. Austria-Hungary. Can't regime change you. I would regime change you if I could, but I guess Bohemia will do. Romania sides with them? That's a bit weird. I feel like Romania would want Transylvania. If anything, it actually helps me! Thank you very much, Romania! Because now I can navally invade you and get to Transylvania easier. You can go to North Africa. And you can go help out. I'm gonna navally invade. So Transylvania is basically screwed. I can just go ahead and arrive. <laughs> Transylvania, yeah, it's just gonna get trounced immediately. So is the Romanian fleet. The Austro-Hungarian fleet is probably gonna be a little bit of a problem, because we currently aren't invading. Now we are fighting the Austro-Hungarian. And we are in Vienna. And they're having a civil war. Oh my god. Can we please invade? Like, attack. Use your landing. Why are you not, are you not landing? <laughs> Land! Must we really fight them one at a time? We are, we are, by the way, currently losing this war because we are not invading invade we're fighting the austro-hungarian like one boat at a time we're fighting their fleet one boat at a time what we really must do is actually invade it's contested because the romanian fleet is there but the romanian fleet we've already fought the romanian we've already fought the austro-hungarian fleet as well and we are absolutely walking all over austria-hungary but we can't win this war because because we're losing transylvania all right we're losing half of transylvania because there's gonna be a new transylvania but for that we will gain bohemia which is not not what i want <laughs> they got transylvania because this game is fucking the worst game of all kind of insane how bad this game is so may you please go to the front and now you're gonna take seven days because the way to your front that is in front of you is to walk away and then come my my invasion army has also left the front something which i somehow didn't anticipate we win <laughs> this lamar so transylvania exists but it's only half of it it's i guess better you know we just see how we just landed and immediately push you know that that would have been that would have been us but the game why am i at war you supporting them huh okay you you're right like i, I was wondering like you're supporting them how are you Losing. I'm also not sure why the USA is supporting communist UAE Republic. A not very communist republic. Okay. I have devised a plan to win the American war, which is actually just the German Niger Civil War, uh, by just using these people, going through my, my Libya, then through Chad to the front line, and whilst we're doing that, we're sending our navy and these guys to do a naval invasion from behind. The USA doesn't really matter in this because I didn't add anything against the US. Where are you go? Why are you going there? Go over there. Fucking stupid. Go to, to the front. I, it's not that fucking hard. What is this path you are walking? My brother in Christ, there is a road. Go down the road, go over here, and then get to the front. It's not that difficult. 
I don't know how or why they got Timbuk. They fucking did, somehow. I'm gonna keep these guys over here, just so if America does something funny again, with a little old invasion of the naval front, then I'm prepared. But the, you know, the front line system, even with the, even with it being quote-unquote fixed, it, it's so horseshit that it, it doesn't actually matter. How, how, why are these two separate fronts? Like, how, hi, I, 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 I made a shit fucking war system and I'm sp selling it 500 fucking bucks with DLC, baby. Horrible fucking system. Everything about this is horrible. I'm one of the few people that actually likes not having to control every single unit. But if the war system is so unstable and shit like this, that I basically have to control every unit for anything to work, it's, it defeats its own purpose. The purpose of simplicity completely gone. Oh yeah, we made the system so the player can lose, but actually, you can never fucking lose. No matter what you do, no matter how shit you play, you are always gonna win as long as you remember the one essential this game has. And that is, if you do that, if you research the tech needed for the army, you are breezing right through. It doesn't goddamn thing now. I have occupied the entire deal. Doesn't matter. Gonna be minus three. This is just this. I feel, I feel, I feel very inclined right now to just, just say, fuck America, I'm walking into these. Oh, the seas contested. Oh yeah, these 13 American boats are really gonna do the trick. Spoiler, they're not gonna do the trick. We're just gonna blow them out of their goddamn water. They even fuck, they fucked off. And now we're just winning. Now there's a, there's a navy. They they actually got the navy here. Also the uh, first communist Nigerian fleet, as, as you do. Everyone's here. Everyone wants to partake of. Also, we got that 18. We got that, we got that good 18 star 11. Motherfucker is called Fawn. Fawn Dyke. Minus 30 now. Everyone's just clamoring onto us. But the main point of this exercise was seeing if I could land in DC. So I win. <laughs> and the fact that I'm even winning some of these battles. God damn. Winning that one. I'm sure as hell making them pay in this one. And I'm winning that one. God damn. You know, just kill 20,000 then. <laughs> as you do. <laughs> and now my puppets are flooding in. I'm right now I'm actively burning down the White House, by the way. I wish you could actually just click on the White House and say burn. Is there a journal entry for that? Burn the White House? No. French Commune is, like, doing very good on the GDP scale as well. I also think it's quite nice uh, that in this timeline, Americans will finally shut up about no one ever invading them. Because the Germans invaded them. And they held the White House. They landed in the District of Columbia. And and got the White House. Well, the president fucked off to go somewhere else. By the way, this is all over German Niger. <laughs> I have killed 300,000 Americans. I have not lost that many men. <laughs> I have wounded more Americans than I have both lost. <laughs> that I have both completely lost and were wounded of mine. And the USA is out of the And so is Niger. And with that, I believe we have done as much as we can. We have 400 million GDP. As you can see right here, it's actually going up very nicely now that we are not at war. We have reached a standard of living of 18.0. Now that is quite the nice number, if I do say so myself. We are also very well equipped to finish the bell Epoch. The Scramble for Africa journal entry is completely broken and no one can beat it. Uh, because I don't actually own seven or more unincorporated states in Africa because I've given them all away to my colony. So that's, that's, that's a fun new feature that you can't do this. Construct the Suez Canal. We have constructed the Suez Canal, however, no one is working in it because of this game being shit. We have established the first fascist in, I believe, the world. We have free Transylvania, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, gotten Finland for ourselves. German Niger is the biggest name on the map. German Congo is big nation. <laughs> German South Africa is a thing. German East Africa is also a thing. I, they, they don't really have a story. The East India Company fell apart and is now being invaded by... Well, they're going back in, baby. We got ourselves a treaty port in China, in Bengal. And I guess technically the Suez Canal is also a treaty port. And at the time it took me to make this outro, we have gained 0.2. <laughs> Stand a living. Ah, oh, goddamn. Now, I would go to 1936, but the reason I'm not is because uh, you can see the, uh, the slowdown is real. And I believe this is a very good time to say that
that Victoria 3 is a piece of garbage that doesn't run very well. I feel like it shouldn't be this bad. Considering the game is only fucking 100 years long and in EU4 you can clearly play the entire game through without having this much of an issue of a campaign to the finishing touches of a campaign, it shouldn't take this long. Also this game is basically running on autopilot right now because of the amount of people that are wealthy in my nation, they just put it into the investment pool so I don't actually have to build anything. And because of our single party state lineup, we are gonna have 100% legitimacy of the righteous government the entire time. My one regret in this campaign is Zanzib Zimbabwe, right to say. Wait, we lost these guys, fuck's sake. God damn it, German South Africa! German South Africa is the most useless piece of shit in this entire world. Oh, I forgot. Brit Britain is. And with that, I sign off. Like, subscribe, do something. Uh, maybe I'll get this to, uh, Hoi 4. Probably not. I'm gonna be honest. This is not going to be Hoi 4. This is not going to be Hoi 4. Mainly because the converter is broken, but, you know. <laughs>